I'm Chris, and I just got through changing master cylinder on a 1972 Volkswagen Beetle. The good news, it didn't even take me an hour. Bad news is the bleeder screw that I thought I fixed is still stripped, so the caliper has to come back off. But at least we have brakes for right now. It's like 100 degrees outside, and you're pretty much going to look like me if you do it. So if I can do it after work in one hour, you should be able to as well. Let's check it out. 105 degrees out here in Houston, Texas. Let's just do it. We gotta get the gas tank out first. An old hot rodder many years ago told me if you want it to start raining on a hot day, you just set some stuff out on a table that you don't want to get wet and you walk away from it. Gotta come in here, get that stuff out of the way. Master cylinder's down there. Two bolts. Let's go ahead and get the gas tank out of here. The only thing I see that's going to be a big problem is the brake fluid is going to run out everywhere. Okay, disconnect these switches. Take whatever off we need. This is a magic tool I've had for 20 years to take brake lines off. only in 15 minutes probably thanks to this tool right here that's completely ready to come out on this side come on I hope it starts raining all right get the two bolts out they're fairly easy you can tell somebody's been in here before missing a lock washer now hopefully we don't have to disconnect anything from here we just pull it out like it's just a pin and that seal come on pop out all right so far so good Okay, I'm gonna get these switches off. We need to test these. I can't make this stuff up. Look, it's actually starting to rain right now because I got all my stuff out and I might have to go to work right now. I'm on call. They just texted me. Let me figure this thing out. I gotta put all this stuff back in here right now. So on the old master cylinder, get this boot off. So you're gonna have these little spacers. You're gonna need a magnet to get down in there if they dropped. There's two of them. This was $58.99 with a lifetime warranty. No core charge. Yeah, see, we don't have one like this. You want to bench bleed it if you can. Oh, it comes with a new one. It smells like a snake for some reason. If they sell a kit for this one, I'm going to do a video rebuilding it. I've never rebuilt a master cylinder before. They put it in there without the spacer and they crushed that wall like half an inch on the other side. So I need to beat it out because we need to put this in here. So those little spacers, you have to have them in there. I just spent about 20 minutes bending that back out to get it in there if you don't you're gonna crush it like this person did before me the way i popped it out was with some big channel locks i just bend it out make sure both spacers are in there but a very large majority of them may be illusions by the illuminati so back to koski this all right we got it bolted in we're gonna go ahead and put the reservoir lines on it oh Got the two reservoir lines on it only. We want to get some brake fluid in the reservoir. All right, so we want to push the pedal a little bit and hopefully we'll blow one of those yellow caps out. So now we want to go ahead and start attaching the lines on it, but loose. We don't want any air trapped in the master cylinder. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the pressure switches on there. They look brand new. So we'll tighten them all the way up, just kind of snug. It's like the 10th time I hit my head on this freaking beetle. All right, so they're 24 millimeters, so you want to kind of make sure you can get a wrench on them somehow. Big giant wrench. So it would have been a better idea to put the pressure switches on on the bench, but I think that's what they did. And they had a bunch of air in this master cylinder. So I wanted to make 100% sure it's getting bled. We got it all installed. This one will run the reservoir dry, so be careful. Let's put some more fluid in there. Just go ahead and fill it all the way up to the top. Now you want to go around and just crack the bleeder screw just a little bit. Just crack them open just a little bit. Just like that. Already bleeding themselves. Okay. Good. Now 
the most important one is the farthest away from the master cylinder. This is the one we were having problems with. So then what you can do is you can crack this line open a little bit and you'll see bubbles coming out. Make sure it's bleeding itself. I was making bubbles earlier. Making a few bubbles. All right, just tighten them back up. So we just bleed them a little bit, come back. And we can't let this thing run dry. So we're gonna keep topping it off. See how it ran down a little bit. And we're just gonna leave this. Let's we'll see how it's dripping fluid out. We can go ahead and close this one. It's probably already bled. All right, so let it just do that for a little bit. Try to get all the air out. Okay, so the bleed breaks by yourself. You're gonna grab it, T bleed them the best you can. Get a full can, hose, and on the videos, they'll use a clear bottle so you can see the air bubbles. We don't need to see them. We have them pretty much gravity bled. We're gonna stick that over, make sure it's a tight fit. Yeah, I need to get some bigger bleeder screws than these. These are tiny. Then we're gonna crack it open. So after you gravity bleed them, you'll start to feel some kind of pedal. We already have a pedal. It's getting hard like right there. It was going to the floor. I just pumped the crap out of them. Feel the pedal going down a little bit that's pushing the fluid out so what you're trying to do is imagine this is the bottom of that hose so when you're pushing the fluid out you're pushing the bubbles bubble 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 so then the bubbles fly up to the top and then when it sucks back in it sucks fluid so whenever we do that we're pushing all the bubbles they're flying to the top so when we let back it's sucking in fluid so make sure that hose is still connected you're gonna come over here and just tighten it one shot real quick done so you'll know your brakes are bled because this will just be tight all of a sudden and you should hear it now. Good, everything looks perfect. So an important lesson in this video is if you have anything on your brakes that is weird, you need to get it fixed correctly. I'm probably gonna have to take this to my machinist friend and let him properly thread that and look at it, change it, whatever he has to. That's why we have this cardboard under it because if you notice, it started leaking again when I was bleeding that other side, putting pressure on it. So now that the brakes are bled, you see how it tightened that up? And now it's coming in contact. Perfect. Do not leave that mess in there on the beetle. You're gonna have to clean that mess up. Let's get some brake cleaner. Remember to hook the switches back up. Got the electrical plugs back on, everything's cleaned up. Okay, so this job only took me about an hour to do and 15 minutes of it was spent bending that thing out there where they squished it together. So make sure you do not lose those spacers. You'll crush that wall and you'll know that when you first look at it because one of the screws will be sticking out about a quarter inch when they both should barely be sticking out. All right, so now we have a brake pedal and it feels a billion times better, awesome. All right, so we're going to do a few more videos like this on the Beetle. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.